Hey guys, what I'm doing tonight, change the tire on the Skag with the Harbor Freight tire machine. Get yourself an impact. Oh, hey, I'm back with the tire. So, this tire machine has been a really good machine for me. Um, so, it's not so much about saving money by buying the machine, more so time. So, we were getting a lot of flats in the spring, and uh, I just found it quicker and easier to stock up on tires. Uh, I buy the two pack of tires off Amazon. And two pack of tires off Amazon, stack those up, and then I bought the tire machine. I forget how much the tire machine is. It wasn't a lot. Maybe 50 bucks, 60 bucks. I'm not really for sure. But like I said, this wasn't this wasn't so much about saving money by doing my own tires as of uh, downtime, just getting back up and going, um, you know, a lot faster than taking them to a shop. I do recommend you to get a little uh, rain fart. What's this thing? Uh, valve stem tool. Uh, these things are cool. Take out valve stems. Um, does all types of cool little stuff. You can take the little needle outside. But you gotta get the air out of this tire. You could push it down like that, and then you can't see it, you're kind of far away. Or you could use the other end and unscrew the valve stem, the needle portion out of the middle of the stem. And that will take the, that will take the air out a lot faster in the tire. So you're not uh, taking all day. So I took the needle portion out of the inside of the stem. So what you do, don't crucify me if I use this wrong. I don't know if I'm using it correct, to be honest with you. All I know is it works. It gets the tire off and it gets the tire back on. Don't gotta be NASCAR, but you wanna get it done pretty quick and get back up and moving. Um, So you just take that off, take these off, that off, put this back on, these I believe just give you your length to get back up where you need to go. So overall quality of the tire machine, um, it's not fantastic. This, uh, there's this piece of threaded rod that goes through the middle that um, it's kind of junky, it's kind of cheap. Um, but you can bend it back if you break it. Home Depot, any hardware store would sell more threaded rod. I'm sure you could buy a new piece and put it in. But you're trying to break the bead. pretty good. Broke the bead on one side and then you're going to want to flip it over and do the same thing on the other. I will warn you, if you're changing tires and you don't know where they've been, um, people like to use slime. Slime inside of a tire when you're trying to change it is short of a nightmare. It's not fun to work with. They actually charge extra money um, at the place that I that I was going to get my tires done before I bought the machine, uh, just to deal with slime in a tire. 
So don't do it. Plug your tire, buy a new tire, don't slime it. Sometimes you gotta play with these to get these uh, to fit. They're just little pins. Use your brain a little bit. Popped. Okay, so that's off completely. Set that out of the side. So, and with this, I always seem to forget, but I believe you hook. Pull up. Hardest part is getting leverage. Um, a lot of times I'll have two guys, well, me and another guy, get up here to do this. Be careful, you can bend these rims. Ask me how I know. Maybe, that's right, use the ball in. As you go around, it pops the beat up. Just like that. I believe you can get the, I don't remember if you can get the bottom. I might be able to get the bottom off. Nope, I lied. So you're going to do the same thing. Put your ball in there. Here's the new one. So start. Sometimes I can get them on by hand. Sometimes I need a little persuasion. Tires a little more pliable. Put some, put a little something, make it smell good. You get it. Give you a little bit of slippery dippery. And then you use the flat part. The trick is you want to keep part of the bead under so it rolls in and doesn't roll out. Easier said than done, especially with. One person, normally I have one guy push this down, the other guy spins it around. Definitely a little easier with two, but we'll get it on.
Here we go. We're on. So, sometimes I have a hard time getting these seated uh, to blow up. I have a little trick if that doesn't work. doesn't look too bad. I think this one's going to take care. Problem is, sometimes when they ship it from Amazon, they squish them, um, and they deform them, and then you try to get it on the rim, and it just doesn't happen. So, we'll see. We'll see how this one goes. Put your valve stem back in. Some people clean up these rims before they put the tire on. I'm not that fancy. I've never made a difference. So at this point you got the tire on. Um, need air. I think this one's gonna seat. Let's see. Listen for the pop. There's a little pop. That's all she has. A little trick. This this kind of looks like it hasn't seated. Sorry to say. Drop it on the ground a couple times. That's all she got. Looks good. Uh, if you want to check for leaks, you can wipe it off, make sure it's dry. Take your just anything, any type of liquid. Soapy water works the best. Spray it on the bead. If you see no bubbles other than from the soap, you're in good shape. Do both sides. Hey, while you're at it, you can clean the dog poop off your tires. I see nothing. I'm good. So, Pretty simple. Um, they were charging me, I forget how much, I want to say it was $129 for a tire. Like I said, it's not like you're going to save a ton, but you are going to save time. Time is uh, pretty important, you know, especially if you're in the spring spring rush. Um, it's tough. You want to get moving again. Harbor Freight, kind of junky, but it works. Uh, you need a jack, one of these things. Find you something to mount it to. Your business. Um, they, it also does little tires. It does do these. Uh, does do these small tires on the front as well. Um, these are a little tougher because they're smaller. And since they're smaller, when you're you can't really get no leverage on them. It can be done. Be prepared. Be frustrated. Same steps. Uh, they're just aggravating. I don't like doing these. I almost wouldn't mind paying for these ones. But uh, like I said, give it a try. Buy you a nice, a nice, nice tire machine. Stock up some tires, and you'll never be down because of a flat again. All right, guys. I'm kidding. I'm back. I forgot to tell you the trick with the tire. Um, if you cannot get the tire to fill up with air, um, if it won't seat, like I said, sometimes when they're shipped, 
the tire is deformed and it will not um it won't seat on the rim when you go to blow it up with air if you cannot get it to fill up with air the trick is kind of dangerous take some starting fluid uh just like your standard old can of starting fluid okay stay with me here what you would do is picture this without air and you have a gap in between the tire and the rim what, the, the, what you do is you spray a little bit of starting fluid inside the tire don't go crazy just a little bit and then if you have a match you take a match and you light the match and you throw it inside of the tire and that will cause a little bit of a combustion and the tire will seat itself onto the rim um, I always try to do this outside don't go crazy with the starting fluid um, it's dangerous do at your own risk um, I've never had a problem with it but you know speak for myself so if you guys uh, if you guys need a tire to seat on a rim because it's deformed and it's not you can't get the the, the tire to, to, to conform to the rim a little bit of starting fluid a little bit inside of the tire throw a match in it preferably outside and stand clear and it will pop itself onto the rim and then you can fill it up from air fill it up with air from there all right, guys. Catch you next time.